Hey, what is up you guys? So, I apologize now because I'm getting over a cold, so if my voice sounds different in this video, that is why. But anyways, welcome to part 2 of how to install add this on your site. And again, I will be showing you how to do it on Tumblr, Blogger, and on WordPress, and I literally just counted all three of those on my fingers. <laughs> so, with that already happening, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we are going to be covering the sharing buttons that add this provides. In the last video, we messed with uh, follow buttons. So now you're basically going to do the same process, but you're going to click share buttons. And then we have a few options for sharing. Uh, you can have it in the sidebar on your mobile theme, but I want these because these are the ones most commonly found on websites. We are going to activate it by clicking the little switch. Then they give you some initial ones to set up with but you can also choose your own just by selecting your own and then you can click and drag. If you choose the add this one, then it will give a pop-up menu uh, for your visitors to choose another way to share. And then you will click activate once you have the settings that you want. So activate and voila. We get our snippets of code and the process is very similar to how we did um, our follow icons. The steps for adding share icons to your blogger is a little bit different and I actually have to admit I had to google the process of how to do that. Uh, but I will be showing you how to do that in video form. Let's go ahead and get started with Tumblr. We will need to copy this code and put it at the bottom of our Tumblr site. If you've done it from the previous video, then you shouldn't have to copy and paste it. But as I kind of deleted this profile on Add This since the last video and then recreated it, I'm going to have to copy and paste it into my Tumblr. So I will be right back. Once you have done that, you can come back over to your add this for the correct profile and scroll down and get the code for the activated tools and again you will need to find where you want them in your posts so I'm going to find the posts tag so in my theme I found it near a section called share this is my share section which is what this is so I'm gonna put it next to the date You'll need to play around with it until it works and to figure that out. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful with that. When I done it for some of my other blogs I had to play around with it as well. So we are going to move on to Blogger. I will put a link to the website that I am following instructions from. But here is what you do. If you want to put your share buttons at the bottom of a post, uh, then you'll follow these instructions. And there's also instructions for putting them at the top, but I want to put them at the bottom of a post. We're in Blogger. We are going to go to our template editor, and then click Edit HTML. Then we will paste the button code before the div class post footer tag in the code editor. All right, so first we will need to copy and paste this and put it right before the slash body of our HTML. Right before the slash body. Then come over, copy the button code. So I need to find post footer. Post footer is on line 1829. So right before post footer. And then click save template. Then we have our share buttons right there. But that feels a little high to me. I think we can put it right where these share icons are. So I'm going to play around with this some more. What happens if we put it there? It, come over to layout and then we can edit our blog posts and then have it not show share buttons click save and voila we now have only our add this share buttons and last but not least on WordPress again this will involve a plugin and you will need to search add this and you will need to find the share buttons by add this and activate then again you'll come over to add this and you will sign in share 
tools. Below blog post, below excerpt. Pick the size and I want smaller. Update. Well, if I go to my website, they are there, but whatever I've done in my settings, they've shown up twice. So you'll have to configure the settings. Uh. Again, it's a thing you'll have to play around and mess with the settings until you get it right. So I guess I apologize for the lack of goodness in this video, but I at least give you the right idea. There's just a lot of settings you're gonna have to play with and placement of code. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, which I kind of doubt you did since I didn't give you exact information, just a rough idea, but it's really hard to do that with this like, kind of thing-ish. But anyways, give it this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it anyway. And don't forget to click on these red subscribe buttons to subscribe to their respective channels. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!